Hey everybody, it's Gio from Microsoft of Florida International University, and today is January 11th, 2014. It's 826 AM, and in this video I'm going to show you object families. So, object families in Construct 2 are an advanced behavior because of two reasons. The first is that it does not come with the free version of Construct 2, which means in order for you to use these, you may have to pay for the paid version of uh, Construct 2. And the second reason is because object families closely resemble inheritance. So inheritance is a relatively complex topic in Java, therefore I'm going to label it under the advanced um, property or advanced uh, thing that we're going to learn. So in this video I'm going to proceed to show you object, uh, object families if you're okay with that and let's go forward from there. So what I have is a layout with 1366 by 768 dimensions and I have three different objects that I created. This is blue, green, and red. Now if you notice, these are all colors, so I'm able to group these, and this is where the object families will now come in. I'm going to create a family, and I just right-click family and go to add family, and I can now literally just add red, add green, and uh, add blue, and hit OK, and my family is created. So I'm going to rename this family into colors, because that's really more specific, right? And now it has these guys in it. So the cool thing about families is that you're able to apply generic behaviors to specific objects. And this is how I'll show you, because that, that sounds very, you know, sketchy at first. Like, what are you trying to say? All right, I'm going to create an instance variable, but this is a family instance variable, which will mean that any object in that family will be able to use this instance variable. So I'm going to call it... Uh, score or actually um, points so points the default for points will be 50 right and what I'm going to do is I can now specify the points for each object so let's say green is like 100 and let's say red is like 250 I now have three different points for specific instances of the family but I'm able to control the behavior at a broad level because I can now say the family instance variable is points therefore all these guys are going to inherit that instance variable by default so it works just like inheritance in java and it's extremely cool so my next step is that i'm going to add a touch object so i can show you guys something cool right so i'm inserting it and it'll take four seconds to load into the project and uh, other than that let's just implement some some logic that'll spawn um an object every every whatever how many seconds right so every uh, I'm gonna call the modern random function and I'm gonna say like every one to three seconds I'm going to spawn a color but instead of selecting one of these specifically I can now choose the family of colors and I can just say oh actually I have to do it differently since there's none previously existing and I'm not spawning on top of anything I have to go to system create object and then create my color there. But instead of saying blue, green, or red, I can just say create me a color. And uh, we're gonna call the, the modern random again. So it, it spawns randomly within a certain uh, parameter. And I just say, you know, give me colors with, and that's gonna refer to that specific object. So divided by two, and then my range is uh, layout width. Yeah, so what I'm now able to do is I can apply generic behaviors and that pretty much means I'm not gonna have to worry about specifics and that's always a great thing in programming because when you have to worry about specifics that means you have to keep track of something or you have to be meticulous about something but being able to do this stuff on such a generic level saves me a lot of trouble because I'm now gonna be able to type a lot more code in a lot less code Therefore, I'm going to be able to do a lot more logic without much more work. And it's much more rewarding as a programmer to be able to accomplish much more without having to code much. So object families allow you to do all of that in Construct 2, which is why I use them like all the time. But the reason I uh, haven't used them so far in any of these tutorials is because it only comes with the paid version. So it's not like I'm trying to, you know, convince you guys to buy Construct. It's more like I'm just um, trying to show you how these work since I use them all the time. And if 
you have the paid version of Construct, then cool, use them. If not, I'm going to try to show you alternative ways to do everything because, you know, you shouldn't have to pay to use something. I totally disagree with that notion. So now I'm going to add another method that says when I touch a color, right, add the, um, the point value of that color to my score. So now I can just call my colors object that's being referenced. And then I just look for the instance variable, whatever it's called. I forgot what it was called again. Uh, so I just search for it. Here you go, points. And that's it. So I add the points of the object I clicked to my score. And I also destroy that object. So I can do this, colors destroy. And it destroys the specific one I clicked. And it adds the points of that specific object I also clicked. So it's super cool. Now there's one last piece of this functionality that I need to implement. And I need to have some text, right, that says um, what's going on more specifically, right? Like what's going to tell me something about my points? So I'm going to just make this pretty large just so, uh, so that it can be clearly visible. And I'm going to center it. Oh, no, that was the hot spot. I'm going to center the uh, text on it, right? And I'm going to change it to Seguo which, or Sego, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, I'm going to change it to this text, make it this big. Okay, cool. And uh, I can just empty that out for now. And then every tick, I'm going to set it to this. It's going to be my score. So I'm just going to go big text, set text, and then I just do this, right? So I say score, and in um, Construct 2, concatenation is done with the ampersand, but don't worry too much about this specific code. I'm just um, writing, you know, the logic to this. You don't have to worry too much. I'm going to put this project up on the Dropbox so you can download it and use it. However, I don't know if all of you will be able to use it since it's implementing object families. Anyways, I'm going to test the logic now, and we'll see how everything turned out. So here's my screen once it loads. All right, my score is zero, right? So, wow, great. A blue one just spawned and I hit it. A red one just spawned. See, so now I'm, I'm getting uh, additions to my score just for clicking these objects. And the blues are giving me 50, greens are giving me 100, and reds are giving me 250. So it's working exactly how I wanted. And I've now created a simple game in a few lines of code, practically. So that's the beauty and power of object families, and I'll show you other ways around it. It's just very tough to replicate that code efficiency in a Construct 2 without using them. Um, so anyways, have a great day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.